It just it feels like pieces all around you, and you don't. What do you do with them? You know, it's like what once was your life. It's just everywhere. But you pick them up, and you keep going. You know, and eventually the pieces get glued back together, and it's like a vase. You know, you know that there are some broken parts, but the, but the vase isn't lost. It's beautiful. And maybe you can just turn that little chip set around to the back <laughs> and you can put some really awesome flowers in there and you can go on with your life. You know, yeah, it still makes me mad. It's wrong. It's, it's wrong. But it doesn't make me the same kind of mad. It doesn't make me the, I would I'll track them down, kill them now mad. It makes me the, it, it, what makes me more mad now is that I didn't know. What makes me mad now is that nobody, nobody told me. I never knew that it'd be somebody I knew. I never knew that this, and you never think this is gonna happen to you. But I still believe the biggest factor against me was my own lack of knowledge. Because I didn't know acquaintance rape was rape rape, I was unable to help my own cause. It dawned on me that something had to be done, and I'm not just gonna sit around and wait for that to happen. This is my big, enormous notebook right here. And this notebook houses all of my ideas and everything that I'm working to do to change this problem. I want people to start talking and start taking action. I don't remember having to complain anything about sexual assault. Um, very rare. What do I hear about it? I mean, they teach you about it in high school, but I mean, once you get here, they don't really say much about it. Because I guess since you're an adult now, they really don't, you know, it's not important. Well, that wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Call me crazy, but I just don't think it should be a woman's job to keep herself from being raped. But a lot of people tend to disagree. I guess that's up to you. I have yeah. no idea. Uh, don't get drunk and be irresponsible. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Learn how to handle yourself. Tell them to just be careful and use common sense. If date rape was a problem, we'd know about it. Right there. She said it best. If date rape was a problem, we'd know about it. But date rape is a problem, just an unrecognized one, which is somewhat equally problematic. It's crazy to me that we not only have to teach people what rape is, but tell them that it's a problem? What about when someone is diagnosed with cancer? It's terrible, and society reacts in a way that reflects that. We comfort victims and encourage them. We support them through walks or buying products that support the cancer society. Now, imagine if we treated cancer patients the same way we do rape victims. Don't get me wrong, awareness is great, but if we're only alerting the victims, aren't we scaring the wrong crowd? And what good is education if we're only educating half of the population? When it comes to accountability, what's missing from the equation is the rapist. Seeing as 25% of college women are still becoming victims of rape, isn't it time we change the approach? I believe that you, me, universities, can together create a culture that puts an end to sexual violence. There's a darkness upon me that's flooded in light In the fine print they tell me what's wrong and what's right